watching on YouTube and welcome to Fire Emblem Three Houses. Something that I said I'd probably never do on the channel, yet here we are anyways. But I'm not alone, which is the only reason this playthrough is even happening on my channel in the first place. I'm joined by the one and the only, you already know, it's my boy, Slyro. What's up, man? Yo, uh, what's up? I'm here. Uh, as you said, you already know, I'm here to be the resident uh, Fire Emblem super fan, uh, specifically Three Houses super fan, to, uh, to provide commentary and uh, expert analysis. Exactly. I'm not great at this game. <laughs> but I'm good enough to get by. <laughs> that's, that's all that really matters. That's all we need. So, yes. um, really, really quick start is Slyro is having to watch my Twitch stream. We tried to set it up to where he would have zero delay when watching through Discord. But every time I tried to give him a zero delay option through Discord, it would crash his Discord. So, yeah. So, there is a slight delay from Sly seeing what's happening. And he has no audio whatsoever because he'd be hearing us talk back to him. It'd be really bad for him. So, Hopefully we can try and get a better setup, but probably won't be able to because Slyro's computer would explode. But basically, just, you know, there's a possibility Sly could, like, talk over some dialogue or something, purely because he doesn't know dialogue is happening. But there are subtitles in this game, so it should be fine. I'm just giving an advanced warning. The other thing yeah. I want to bring no. up is that, uh, Slyro, I believe you've played every single route probably at least twice? Uh, yeah, basically. Basically. But his memory is also really bad. I, true. I have played through all of Black Eagles. I remember it fairly well. I did the Black Eagles route, not the church route. I went through the whole thing. And I played, uh, I played like half of Blue Lions. So, but I've never touched Golden Deer. So that's why, that's why we're doing Golden Deer. I'm very excited. But, uh, I'm gonna hit new game. I'm not gonna do a new game plus. No, thank you. If you have any Fire Emblem character amiibo, no, no, no. Who knows what might happen? Uh, not me. Uh, and I don't want to carry over data. I want a fresh playthrough. Uh, so when I first played this game, I actually did play it on normal. We're uh -huh. going to be playing on hard, however, because I, I played normal, and I was like... Different. First of all, a lot of people probably know I played Fire Emblem Awakening, and I played, like, a lot of Fire Emblem Awakening until I got to the point where I was so mad with the game I quit. And I was playing it on hard. Then, on my own time, I went back and played normal, and I thought it was the easiest baby game of all time to the point where I actually considered it unplayable because I felt like what I did didn't matter. Mm -hmm. So when I played Fire Emblem Three Houses, I was like, I really hope they got a lot better, like, difficulty scaling. I loaded up normal, played through the whole game. Wasn't overly hard. I didn't, like, I don't remember ever having, like, major trouble, but it was a lot better than Awakening. And when I started up Blue Lions, I was playing hard, and I remember not having trouble. So... I think hard is basically, like, medium. Like, I, I think these two, or these three difficulties are basically easy like balanced and impossible like those are the three that sounds, choices that you have <laughs> very, for this game very accurate yeah i think normal is great for your first time just so you learn the mechanics once you understand the mechanics you most people Dude, the game... mode. oh wait cutscene Realized that they had nuclear warheads in Fire Emblem Three Houses. They did. What dumb idiots saw what that man just did and were like, "Yeah, we got this." stay quiet because they're gonna start talking at some point but it still hasn't happened i mean this is a pretty long cutscene, i'm pretty sure yeah it's dude animation is great oh yeah up 
stole Terra's move from uh, Kingdom Hearts. Tell me, Nemesis, do you recall the Red Canyon? You'll die! <laughs> I don't think YouTube's gonna be happy about this sequence. <laughs> no, I don't think so at all. That I loved. I actually don't remember watching this far into this cutscene. <laughs> Did you just skip it? Yeah, probably. <laughs> There is still some of Nemesis's army standing there, right? Like, just because their leader is getting stabbed, they're like, yeah, we'll just watch this go down. Don't attack her while she's distracted with her revenge. I mean, uh, oh. yeah, I guess it just shows you Sophus. Sophus. about them. You stupid cat. <laughs> How did I never put that together? I'm so dumb. Brought you here. What could have brought me here, indeed? I'm gonna cut off anyone in chat from saying any. Oh. I wonder how you got in here. How did you get in here? There's no door. How did anyone get in here? <laughs> uh. I mean, I guess that really just depends on where you actually are. For anyone who doesn't get the joke, Sothis and Morgana from Persona 5 have the same voice actor, actress. Yeah, they, uh, the two games share a lot of, uh, or a decent amount of, of voice actors. I don't remember off the top of my head of any other voice actors besides Morgana, but you're probably right. Uh, well, you'll, you'll meet one, uh, in the Golden Year House. I'll wait and, uh, oh, wait dude, for you let to me, let, me, yeah, let me see if I can recognize any of them. Yeah, yeah I love, yeah, yeah. I love recognizing the one, there's voice one actors. that I know for sure, though. It is most rude to interrupt a moment of repose. <sighs> Very rude indeed. So this, I know that the game audio wasn't too low, but you talk so quietly that everyone in chat is about to tell me that the game audio is too low. Can, can you please speak up for the people in the back? Now come to me. I wish to have a look at you. So this is eyes only work if you're within five feet of her. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> uh, we're going to play as male Byla. Cool, cool. I'm sure there will be plenty enough fan service from the other characters anyway. I've seen the likes of you before. Probably. Are you anyway? Um, yeah. What did, do you remember what you said here when you first played? Uh, man, I think, I think I've probably. I'm sure you've done all, all of, them. of them by now. Yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty sure there is like one, like better answer than the others. Really? I think so. Cause I think you get a heart from one of them and then you just get nothing from the others i could be completely wrong i'm fairly certain when i first played i said i was a ghost i may have done the same i definitely don't think i said i'm a demon no nah. definitely not but i don't know if i went ghost or mortal i think i'm gonna say ghost here and may let the chips fall where they may yeah i don't know if the choices matter that much it might only matter because of, I, I know you can S rank Sophus, and I have no idea how. I've never actually looked into it, and so the choices might matter for that. But I don't know. Yeah, I remember when I played Black Eagles, and you had the option to like give the ring or whatever at the end of the game. Like it had Sothis there blacked out, and I was like, Yeah. Who in the right mind is ever gonna pick Sothis over Petra, Dorothea, or Edelgard? <laughs> like, what? What was even Incredibly the point? Fair. Of, what was even the point of dangling her in front of me? Like, look what you could have had. I'm like, yeah, I could have not had Dorothea. Is that what you're telling me? Yeah, it's it's for like the fifth playthrough, and you're like, Hey, this would be neat to try and do this. Listen, I'm I'm very against the whole like all games copied Persona 5 like even as a meme because it gets annoying. But like, I, I was just thinking to myself because you talked over Sothis and I'm like, does this have the same Persona 5 thing that I've literally only ever seen in Persona 5 where I can just replay her dialogue? And it does. <laughs> <laughs> do not deceive. You would do well to keep your wit in line. I've never messed with that feature in either Persona 5 or Three Houses. That doesn't surprise me in the slightest. This, uh, I'm a ghost was definitely the wrong option, by the yeah, way. I think, I, I, I think mortal is the right option. I think. We're definitely not immortal, though. Like, uh, 
We're like kind connected of. to some kind of a god creature that we like merge with at some point. How is that in any way a mortal? Uh, I think I think we start out a mortal. That's what they all say. <laughs> like you were, you know, uh, you must have or I, Violet was like, on. you know, born. And it's like a not super normal. I, I but never, I never saw the birth take place. Normal means. You only hear that through hearsay. Like, what What if uh, Geralt's lying to you this entire time? He's like, yeah, I found you in an true. egg one day. It's <laughs> <Like, laughs> true. He ate me. Oh, man. Anyways, we're going with Byleth because I always go with canon names if I can help it. Yeah, I do the exact same. Huh. I shall not ever grow accustomed to the sound of human names. Saltis, shut up. Byleth is not, like, a standard <laughs> human name. This is... It is the most, like anime yeah. the most anime fantasy world like no human being would actually name their kid this unless they grew up living and dying on three houses yeah and then actually convince their spouse to also name their kid after a video game character if you're gonna name your child after a, a three houses character why would you pick Byleth? yeah of all the options <laughs> there's like 50 better options like literally there's a dude whose name is just felix like yeah anyway just a perfectly normal name <laughs> Or you can name your child Ferdinand von Iger. That's like their first name. And then they have yes. like another middle and a last name. But <laughs> Absolutely. By the way, speaking of like always, you and I always choosing canon names if we can, Michael played all of Persona 5 with his character being called Michael. <laughs> when, <laughs> when he told me that, I was like, dude, there's no way I could play Persona 5 and have them like say my name back to me. I would lose Yeah, it. that would be so weird. You must possess a day of birth as well. Beneath which moon and on what day were you born to this world? Oh, that's right. We have to have a birthday. Slyro, when's your birthday? Uh, July 22nd. July 22nd. Someone do the math. What's exactly in between July 22nd <laughs> and December 2nd? It's got to that's uh, got to be like uh around October, right? Probably either yeah, July either very beginning July. of October or very end of September. Yeah. Somewhere it's in gonna that be range. Close. It's going to be close cuz I think it's going to be the end of horse bow moon. Mm, I think Wyvern Moon sounds cooler, so we should go with that anyway. You know, that's a really good point. Wyvern Moon does sound <laughs> really cool. I hadn't considered that possibility. All right, so we'll go Wyvern Moon because it's close to the middle and sounds cool. And then uh, 22 divided by 2 is 11. So 10, 11 is our birthday now. Perfect. Love it. Is day 11 of month 10 Wyvern Moon correct? Absolutely it is. October 12th would be a decent midpoint. Well, November 11th it is. Then. Or no, this is October. Oh, November is the 11th. Yeah, yeah, this is October. Yeah, yeah this 10, is October. 10 is October. For some yeah. reason, I thought that there was a month in between wow, November and December for a second there. <laughs> no. Definitely not. Strange. You want Christmas to be three months long? <laughs> no, please, no. <laughs> wow, well, wonders never cease. It seems we share our day of birth. How strange. Yeah, the little god creature has the same birthday as us, Sly, and you're trying to tell me I'm a mortal in this game? <laughs> <laughs> well... I don't know. I guess in her eyes, you're immortal. All right, let's get through this dialogue. <laughs> yeah, we haven't made a lot of progress. It all feels so familiar. I think it may be time for yet another nap. It is almost time to... Good talk, Sothis. Good talk. Hey, time to wake up. I feel like I already know Geralt's voice actor, and I feel like I knew Geralt's voice actor when I first played the game, and I looked it up, but I have since forgotten. Uh, I will look it up because I have no idea. Were you having that dream again? Yeah, I was dreaming uh, about a war. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna tell my dad that I was dreaming about a young girl. That's like, he's gonna call the Fire Emblem <laughs> FBI on me so fast, it's not even funny. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like he wouldn't specifically, but he probably should. <laughs> I was dreaming about a word, Dad. Normal oh, teenage uh, voice. Uh, clashing on a vast he was field. the same voice as the warden in Persona Five Royal. Hasn't been a battle like that in over three centuries. Supposedly. Wait, say that again. Gerald has the same voice as the warden in Persona Five. The warden in Persona Five is like, a female, I'm... though. No, no, no. Like, um, what's his face? Igor. Like, Igor, yeah, yeah. Oh, dude, he's Jiraiya. But, like, the... Oh, yeah. Keep, like, keep scrolling. He's Jiraiya's dub voice, right? 
Oh yeah, that's what I recognize oh, duh, him from. That's where it is. From. I, yeah, I yeah, recognize 100%. him as Jiraiya, absolutely. Because yeah. I had I had trouble recognizing that Yaldabaoth about Igor was Jiraiya. Yeah, because it doesn't it doesn't sound the same in my mind. But I like I can hear it. Yeah, you can. You if you listen really closely to Igor's Persona Five voice, you're like, I do hear Jiraiya buried under all of like the throat gargling that he does to sound that deep. Yeah, Geralt is a is a lot closer to Jiraiya. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I knew I recognized this voice. It's just been so long since I watched Naruto in dub. Yeah, that's fair. Massive armies clashing on a vast field, right? Oh, there hasn't been a battle like that in over three centuries. I refuse to believe that in this fantasy Fire Emblem Three Houses world, there has not been a war that would some kind of war or combat in a vast field when in three hundred years. Like, I, <laughs> I, I actually just don't believe you. Uh, I don't know. I feel like there's plenty of skirmishes, but maybe not like huge on battles. I mean, this, this is an entire continent that has like three ruling what what should I call it? Yeah, three ruling what should I call it? That like all very clearly don't like each other. Like, how, how have they gone three centuries with no issue? Nah, I think that the the three centuries is building up to not liking each other. I don't of know. Course. I might be completely wrong. In any case, just put that out of your mind for now battlefield is no place for idle thoughts chat is there a way in is there a setting in three houses where i can specifically turn up the voice actors because like the music sounds fine to me and when i did testing the music and especially the combat music like what sounded balanced well but i feel like the voice actors are like a little quiet risking your life is part of the my only guess would be some like, like options menu Letting your that mind wander is i don't even think you can get to right now killed. yeah i don't think i can either Risking your life is part of the job for mercenaries like us. Letting your mind wander is a sure way to get yourself killed. Okay, time to get moving. Our next job is in the kingdom. I told you before, it's far from here, so we'll need to leave at dawn. Hmm? Oh, good grief. Everyone is already waiting for us outside. Dude... When you played this game, were you, like, ever disrespectful to Geralt even once? Disrespectful? I don't think so. I chose literally every... Any time a dialogue option with Geralt came up, I was like, how can I be as respectful and, like, refer to his authority as much as possible? Because I was like, <laughs> I love this man. Really? I, uh... I don't know. I just felt like it was the right thing to do. Just because, like, I wouldn't want to be, like, mean to somebody. <laughs> but, I mean, for the most part, I was trying to figure out, like, you know what is Byleth, what, like, what sort of backstory is here between these two? I didn't really, you know... Well, as, kinda... as you're so incredibly certain of Byleth is immortal, apparently, I don't know why you had to ask that question. <laughs> well, yeah, but, you know, doesn't mean that you, you know, yeah, like yeah, or you respect know, I, your father. I, I, I do already you know. That... You're right. Okay, well, yeah, I guess you already know. The backside of that is I don't always already know. <laughs> <laughs> Gerald, sir, sorry to barge in, but your presence is needed. What's happened? I Please feel... forgive our intrusion. We wouldn't bother you with a situation not dire. What are the odds that the three future rulers of the three countries all together, <laughs> already in their respective colors, happen to show up and need our help? Yeah, like way out here. Didn't they say they're like so far away? Are they going to the kingdom? Oh no! Oh, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. We. Have... Hmm. I think I actually need to reset. Why? I hit I hit start because I was like someone in chat said there is an option for voice volume. I was like, oh, if I hit start, it'll probably let oh, me. Oh, like, you open. like skip through a whole. Yeah, bunch. it just skipped the entire cutscene. I hate that. Ooh. I hate that a lot. That oh, like no. to hit the plus button and it not like warn you of like, oh, do you want to skip this cutscene? That actually infuriates <laughs> me. Like that, I I'm literally willing to say it's bad game design. <laughs> oh man. That is absolutely terrible. Load load back up, please. I'm just going to have to run through the intro over again. Do you think it auto-saved right before that cutscene, maybe? Uh, I don't think so. Lone Wolf says no. the voice acting does sound fine to him. Maybe it just sounds quiet to me. It looks quiet on Discord is what worried me. Hmm. Oh, right, here we go. What if I... Okay, wait a minute. What if I load up this auto-save? Is this going to be after or before the cutscene? Chat, I know starting soon screen is up right now. It's because I'm trying to fix stuff. Yeah, also, I'll answer chat. I'm pretty sure uh, Cass is not. Oh, you, you so, cut out? No DLC characters or anything. I was, oh, I was telling chat that uh, I don't think you have the DLC, so there's no DLC characters or anything. Oh, uh, nope, nope. I gotta, like, redo the whole thing. Oh, <laughs> uh, that sucks. It's fine, because now I'll skip the early stuff. 
Nice. Yo, Slyro, I have not done the the fourth DLC, like fourth house DLC, whatever it is. It's like a bunch of kids trapped in a basement or something stupid, isn't it? But um, yeah, but then you can also use those kids in like your normal playthroughs. Oh, that's wild. Uh, and I also get some poor conversation with like other people and everything. Oh, that's neat. I definitely haven't done it, but I'm pretty sure, literally, as I got the the game out, I uh, do, 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 do. yeah, new game plus. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. No, no, ng plus. Hard, classic. Don't play online. There we go. All right, I'll bring the screen back up. Anyways, as you might have guessed, I had to search for Fire Emblem Three Houses, like the case and the game, to. Uh -huh. uh... Oh no! I'm now. I mean, Sly. I'm. I'm so mad. I'm so mad. Oh no! What'd mad. you do? I hit. I hit start on the opening cutscene, and it said like, it said "Are you sure you want to skip?" <laughs> Where was that? Like three minutes ago. You already have the code in the game, but you just chose not to use it for every like form of dialogue. Cutscenes are different than I don't know. <laughs> I'm so mad. <laughs> I understand that they're different, and that's yeah, why it happened yeah, that no, way. But that I, doesn't, I hear you, that sure. doesn't mean I'm not mad that, like, you thought, like, oh, for cutscenes, we should have that option. What if they hit plus in, like, the normal, like, just chatting with people moment? Yeah. No, I, 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 I agree. I see your point. I immediately hit mortal this time. I don't know if that actually changed anything. I just wanted to speed oh, up I don't know. the process. I did not see a little heart Look, thing or Lone anything, Wolf so maybe was, not. Lone Wolf was born in month three in this game. The Lone Moon. <laughs> Are we changing our birthday you, to commemorate him? No, not at all. Do you want to okay. explain to me how when choosing a day, when you press down, it moves like it counts up, but when you press up, it counts down? Does it? Look, I'm hitting up and it goes 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. And when I hit down, it's like 10, 11, 12. Like what? Oh, I see. Why? Uh, I don't know. I do not understand that. I disagree with that a lot. Well, how oh, man.